House Speaker Mike Johnson and those in the Republican House. I want you to remember a name. Andri Rachop is my cousin, and this is his picture. Andri's ghost is here to haunt you and to bring you nightmares. Why? Because you betrayed him, the people of Ukraine, the historic leadership of the United States, and democracy around the globe. Andri was killed on February 22nd, 2024, on the front line near Adithka, Ukraine, at the age of 21. He was so talented that his comrades respected him after only a few months of combat duty. Andri died a hero protecting his fellow soldiers when his battalion lacked the necessary firepower to repel the enemy's artillery and drone assault. The commander was rationing ammunition because for four months, you and your Republican colleagues have cynically refused to allow bipartisan members of Congress to vote on a necessary and crucial funding package for Ukraine. The obstruction has caused the death and injury of thousands of Ukrainians, both soldiers, civilians, including babies, children, and pregnant women. With the death of Andri, your act of betrayal has harmed our American family. Andri was born in a small village. It was raised by his grandparents. My mom and my dad became his long distance parents. Every summer during our childhood, I'd visit the small village with my family. Andri and I became inseparable. We played, fished, swam, and spent time on the beaches of the Azov and Black Seas. In the summer of 2019, I was in Kiev on business and invited Andri to visit me before he started college in Dnipro. My parents bought him everything he needed for school and he left with the dream of getting a degree and a better life. That was the last time I saw him, but for the next four years, we kept in touch online. Last August, I was back in Kiev doing humanitarian work when Andrei came there to volunteer for the armed forces. I was concerned, but he said he was now a man who wanted to defend his country. Over the next several months, he sent photos with his troops, and I was so proud to see him so handsome in his uniform. He did not want my family to worry, so he never mentioned that he asked to be deployed on the front line. Andrei was buried on February 22nd at his small village next to my grandmother and grandfather. The entire village lined the road for kilometers in bended knees, and he was carried by his comrades to his gravesite. His commander and fellow soldiers praised him for his strength and heroism. The flags of Ukraine were handed to his weeping grandparents minutes before he was laid to rest. Andrei's mission now is to haunt you and your Republican colleagues until you find just a fraction of the courage he showed during his tragic young life. We will not let you forget his name, his face, or his cause, because they are reminders of your apostasy.